Do you have an understanding one way or another whether Ms. Hurd and Mr. Musk were in fact dating at the time of the San Francisco reconciliation that she asked you to set up? I don't know whether they were dating, but they had definitely spent time together. Do you know how long after the San Francisco attempted reconciliation you gained the understanding that Elon Musk and Ms. Hurd were in fact dating? I don't know exactly how long, but not long after. Do you know who she's, or what was your understanding of who she was referring to when she was said, here, I love him? Johnny. Based on this exchange, did you have an understanding at this time whether Ms. Hurd wanted to reconcile with Mr. Duff? I believe she did. And at this point in time, she was still a close personal friend of yours, correct? Yes. And at this point in time, was she, did she consider you a confidant in your understanding? I think yes. Okay, just to authenticate this document again, Mr. Crane, I do see that it's referenced at the bottom, bait stamp CC, indicating that you produced this document. Yes. And having read this, do you perceive this as a true and correct copy of the text exchange between you and Ms. Hurd? Yes. Okay. And I will, can you see at the very top here, it's dated August 16th, 2017? Yes. And Ms. Hurd states to you, I written so many notes. Can you give him one? I don't know how or where to start. There's no way to begin. And all I have to say, but I have so many. Finally, I am single, clear in my heart and mind. I just want him to know I loved him and that I am sorry. Do you have an understanding of who Ms. Hurd is referring to here? Yes. And who is Ms. Hurd referring to in this text? John Lee. And what is she asking you to do here? She was asking me to deliver a letter that she was writing to him. And does she also want you to, and it says, and that I am sorry. What was your understanding of what she was asking you to do there, if anything? I believe that was all in reference to getting him a handwritten letter that she was writing or trying to write. Was it your understanding at the time of this text exchange, August 24, 2017, that Ms. Amber was attempting to reconcile with Mr. Depp? I believe so. Okay. And I know this may sound repetitive, but on August 20, at the time of this text, on August 24, 2017, you and her were still close personal friends, correct? I believe so. There's not much here at all, Mr. Cranwell, but I did want to confirm that this was a document produced by you, correct, based on the bait stamp on the bottom? Yes. And do you see it's dated September 27, 2017? September 23rd. Oh, you're right. My apologies. It's dated September 23, 2017, and it's a text to you that says, God, I miss him. Do you have an understanding of who Ms. Hurd is referring to there? Yes. And who's that? Johnny. And do you see at the bottom, the date of the text is June 9, 2018? Yes. Okay. And it says, I text him happy birthday. Do you know who sent that and who the him is? I assume this is from Amber and she's talking about Johnny. You've had a chance to review the whole document. What does this appear to be? It appears to be the communications around the time that we set up the meeting in San Francisco. And who are these communications between? 
uh, me and Johnny. Okay. Um, and this first uh, bubble, um, can you tell if that if the blue is you or Mr. Depp? Uh, I think the blue is is me. Sure. Earlier in your deposition, uh, at the very outset, I was asking you about your representation of individuals at CAA. You indicated that you represent individuals that are both actors and musicians. Would you consider Mr. Depp in that pool? Yes. And you represented, or CAA represented him both in connection with his acting endeavors and um, his involvement with uh, the vampires? Yes. And was Mr. Depp's participation in Hollywood vampires uh, lucrative? No. Uh, do you know whether or not it was something Mr. Jeff, Mr. Depp enjoyed? Yes. 